Chad Rock here down in sunny Southern California, Urban RCLA. I'm about to fix my HPI Blitz that they were so nice to send me from that contest that I won with Reed, of course. Reed's on the camera as always. And uh, so what we did was uh, we just mentioned to them that they sent us the non-flux version and <laughs> they sent us the flexible stuff, which is this fan part, which you got to twist or whatever. See, there's a spinner. Knew it. And then they've sent us this motor, which looks awesome. It's called the Flux Shot, which goes in the back. And I, you gotta, whatever, I'll figure that out. And then Reed found this whole bunch of little parts and stuff because what happened was apparently these are not as strong as the four wheel drive versions because day one, whoa! That's right, a uh, very high speed collision broke everything inside here. So let's take a quick look and see what is actually oh, I have parts there. Oh God. See, the problem is, is I have no idea how that even got wrapped around that piece. Oh, okay, so it goes like this. So now I gotta figure out how we, can I just, you know what I should do? Let me take the wheels off of this thing first. Okay guys, <laughs> bear with me. All right, let's do this puppy. I wish I had one of those little, oh, they should make a miniature pneumatic gun, you know? <laughs> So cool for these. Maybe they have them, who the hell knows. Okay, so I gotta put my nut in here. <laughs> no pun intended. That's wheel one. This spins, which I really like. Whoever designed that was cool. <clears throat> I have mucho props for people who can do this on the regular because this is my second repair and uh, we told everybody that if I was going to be racing this thing and breaking it, then I was going to be fixing it. And now I'm stuck fixing it because I keep going, I want to race, I want to race. And he keeps going, you can't race until you fix it. And you can't race until you know lift some weight. I don't think I can get it there. <laughs> so serious. Is it really that tight? Yes, it's really that tight. Try the other one. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. That was like a pop of vein in your forehead booby. You know when you're like, no, no, dead. I don't know how we're gonna Try it the other way. Maybe it's right. Why would it be right? Lefty loosey, right? No. Yeah, but sometimes they do them backwards for some reason. Is it really right? No. no not that way either. I'm not that much. Jesus. Here, okay, let's try, let's uh, go. hold on. How can we do this? Oh, I know, here. What is this? I don't know, maybe you can get a little bit better leverage for that. Just take like it in Like a little torque wrench? No, the other way, the other, the big one. Big one? Like that? Better leverage with what? My finger? Yes, yes. And your mom. <laughs> no, then, okay, now I need, like, pliers for this. Like some sort of, do you have a big one? No. Don't hurt yourself. Well, that, that worked, dude. Oh. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah. I'm so impressed. That was pretty hard. Why would it be in there that tight? So it doesn't fall off, I suppose. Alright, let's see if that can be as simple on this side. Myself yeah, time. don't stab yourself. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're done. And that's a rat now. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of here. Okay, now that we don't have this wobbling around like a sidewinder, how do you even... So, it looks like I have to take the whole front piece of this off. Like, maybe I should take it off here and here. What is this gonna do? Is that the steering part? Oh yeah, that's the steering part. All right, well that looks like it's underneath this piece. So let me try to get that part on there. That means I'm gonna find the right little diode. 
Okay. Isn't it? You already picked it out, didn't you? Yeah, look, it won't work. Yeah, but it's this one. This one's better. Is it? Yeah, because you get more torch with this. Here, look. Sweet. Oh, Genius is what this is called. <laughs> All right. And you know what? Hold on a second, man. Honestly, I'm already hot. So, let's make this happen. Let's try this. Do you think this is the right way to go? Take off the front. And the reason I'm saying that is because I think this whole bottom piece needs to be taken out anyway. Because I can't get in there with my little fingers, and I don't think anybody can get in there with their big fingers. It's the it's the steering we have to fix because we broke that steering um, support. So I think it'll be a lot easier to do if we just take the front end off. Yeah, agreed. Okay, so let me get that puppy out of there. Put it in my little bolt thing. This is uh, this is interesting because I've never even fixed anything on a real car, let alone a miniature car. <laughs> it's a cool perspective. And for those of you out here who uh, who love racing these and love bashing them, rubbing's part of racing, so you got to get in there and do it. <laughs> Otherwise, people will look at you like an idiot, like they do with me. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not Mike Rowe, and this isn't deadliest catch. This is Urban RCLA. Although you could impale yourself with one of these things, and I've heard of broken ankles from getting hit with a Baja or something. Ugh. Ugh. Is it okay if I flip this over and set that yeah, on yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, I don't think it would be Alright. I don't, probably yeah, just, 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 yeah. just see. I can already feel it kind of loosening up. Do you think in theory it'll just slide off, maybe? Should I separate these bolts from these bolts? Because it might be different. They look different. No, just remember which ones they are. <laughs> yeah. Usually the ones on the bottom are the ones that are flathead. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then I also have another one of these. So if you need to further segregate. <laughs> further segregate. Not that I'm into that kind of thing, but I'm into that for bolt purposes because It kind of helps if you twist with your hands on both sides. For me, it does anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being Mr. Not. Okay, so let's right. try it. Yeah. So let me flip this over. Is anything going to come flying apart out of here when I do this? Oh, oh look, there's two. They're like. Uh, See these like bolt looking? Yeah, these, these are just like. Um, uh, they're just in there. So I think. Should I just lift up on it? So just try to pry free. See if there's anything else you feel like it needs to be. Well, Oh, it's attached to this part here. Yeah, so get a screwdriver and just pop that off. Screwdriver? That comes off. This one had that orange one. This orange one? Okay. So, you see... What do I, where do I put Okay, it? so this one, let's see. We need to pop this off. So should I just... So you take its face it off. off. You want me to take its yeah, face? Yeah, don't stab me in the face. Trying not to break. Does that really come off like that? Yeah. Maybe I'm just being too gingerly with it here. Don't stab yourself in the wrist. I won't. That would be Urban R C E R. <laughs> break it. Ah. <laughs> I didn't want to break it any further. Yeah, it's pretty hard plastic, so. Okay, so this should. Is it still seated down here somewhere? Is it, do we need to take the whole bumper off? The only thing that I feel is that possibility of those metal posts. Oh, there we go, I folded it up. Okay, that came out. There we go. You just kind of have to twist and move and massage and pull. But I don't want to pull too hard. I'm going to break something. I can feel it. Jesus Christ, this is hard. Uh, 
little help. A little help. Okay. This is not the best tutorial because, obviously, So I think this is what we figured out. There's a bolt here that we have to take off. Take it out. Bolt here we have to take off. And then a couple of set screws down inside there, apparently. That one spins kind of freely. There's another extra little tiny bolt. So I gotta use these little here. itty bitty tiny. Ah, oh, there's a bit little miniature wrench. Yeah, here, just use that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna hold this here, like ye. Just come on, there we go. And then I'm gonna pull that like ye. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Now I have to remember where I'm putting all this stuff. Ah, oh, that's when. Remember the game Operation? That's where this comes in handy, people. Other little miniature crescent wrench or whatever this type of wrench is. Should be done. Quel problème? There. Okay. Now we pull that out. Aha! They need to. I wonder if they have an RC pit crew like. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's called. Drunk friend one and drunk friend two. <laughs> Aha! Ah! Okay. This is now off. So I've got to put this in the proper spot, which is going to be right here, so I remember where that goes. But i got to get this bolt out of here so I don't forget. So. See those two? Ah. Those more. Haven't had to change screw or uh, hex driver yet, though. That's convenient. What does that mean? You haven't had to change out your hex driver. It's the same hex driver, oh, all yeah. size, sizes. <laughs> Give me ice water or something. Come on, this is what I want, but I'm afraid because once it falls off, I don't know if I can fall it back on. Chad from Urban RCLA. Okay. This You've removed your first front end. How do you feel? Front endless. And there's endless possibilities. Okay, so we have found out what has been broken here. Obviously, it's this steering shaft piece. So this is swung away all the way over here. That operates the whole steering column. So I gotta take these apart here. And also, the little rod that slides through here cracked the plastic here. So that means I gotta take this whole arm bar off here. And I am gonna start with that part. So I'm gonna use my little hex nut genius. See if I can get in here and take this puppy out of here with little to no problem. I'm actually gonna isolate these bolts and just do this part by itself so that I can remember where I'm at because I'm ultra novice boy. So I'm gonna put this in its own special spot on the mat. So I'm gonna just kind of get rid of these nuts over here, put it there like that. So I know that that little bitty guy is gonna be right for this. So when I'm finished with this part, I'm gonna put that right back in here so I don't get all screwed up. Cause I'm already like, where did I leave off? Okay, so I gotta take this, is that spring gonna fly out of there if I no, take this no, suspension off? No. So then so what you removed is just something to, keep, to make sure that pin doesn't come out. Okay. So you gotta punch that pin out. Robert. I'm going to, oh look, it came out. Yeah, so then just grab the pliers. Got it, all right. Slide that puppy out. I'm gonna set it down like that so I know which direction that went in there. It doesn't matter what direction. Ah, there's a little tiny video ring. So our replacement arm piece here, we're gonna just slide it back into our gearing. This little O-ring I discovered was a spacer because I looked on the other side. 
So we'll put this in. It's a little easier if you use this to kind of guide the it. The guider, yeah. We'll yeah, so guide. start, yeah. So we'll put this in at the bottom. Put the spacer up on top of that. Slide that kind of in there. I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit so I have that additional clearance that I'm gonna need eventually. And then so since this is... Yep, that's right. Okay, it's correct this way. So I'll slide this in. Make sure my holes line up. <laughs> okay, that went in nice and smooth. Oh, perfect. Done. And then that little that little screw just keeps, holds that. Yeah, it keeps that in. Okay. And that's the little tiny screw. Mm -hmm. So we'll slide this guy in here. Starting screws is not an easy thing to do. That's what she said. <laughs> I only got four hands. There we go. Perfect. I know, I think that the next version of human should have more than two hands. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, good. Now we got that started. Okay, so that is that piece of the assembly. Now, <clears throat> the next part I think that we should do, and correct me if I'm wrong, You gotta do this part. So, we gotta take off this so that we can get the pin in there that we have as a replacement. So, let's got it. finish sure? up. We don't want to do this part first? No, finish one part. Always finish one part you're working on okay. before you start on another part. Okay, there we go. And everything always comes apart in like 17 pieces. Not just one, but 17. Okay, so that's that. So now we have to put that. Yeah, so this is, see how that goes in there? Yeah. So yeah, so you just need to grab that. Line that, no, other way, other side. So we start with this side? Yeah, because the, the other side is too small to fit through. That's how it guards it. Oh, uh, so it's like a little retention piece? Yeah. And then like that. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! There's something for, I'm not satisfied yet. Hold on. Let me get this part back on here and then I can take it little for us. Now I have to figure out which direction it is. Off it. It's a very steady hand. Trying to make sure that I'm in the right hole. And I'm not. Yeah, sometimes you gotta kind of push when you're screwing. Yeah, but. <laughs> Alright, now, no wonder I couldn't get the screw to screw right. Okay, now that's gonna feel much better. So sometimes you have to put it in the right hole in order for it to work. <laughs> Okay. Now, now we're just going to put the shock back together and then we're going to move on to the steering. Okay, now we're going to fix the steering support arm swinger. Okay, so I'm going to put this down on the table so I don't impale myself on this side. First day out, broken, slammo. I remember exactly how it happened. Of course, racing with Read Your Mind, having a blasty blast, and all of a sudden, I was watching his truck, he was watching my truck, head on collision, bloom, and my wheel just went, ah! <laughs> and I was like, oh. But we knew that was gonna happen anyway. Okay. So, that being said, now that I know where that is, with those two guys, now you can just rip that off, just torque it. Just pop this pupper out, yeah, and then take okay. that off. Okay, ball joint out. That's out. Any other broken piece here? Not no, existent. Okay. Let's slap this puppy in here. Okay. I think it's going in right. Yep, keep going. Yeah, looks like it's all in. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Our little, you know, that rocker arm piece. Steering arm, I think it was called. Steering arm is what we think this is called. I remember you need these little things. Yeah, okay, now does this go this way or this way? I think it was... This yeah, way. no, I think it was... Uh, no, because the arrow... There's the arrow. So it goes that way. Okay, thank you for the arrow. Whoever was a, smart enough to put an arrow on this for people like me, that's terrific. You know, the funniest part about this is that they think that chess is the person with patience's game, or if you have to have patience, learn patience, or folding origami or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Try fixing an RC. Okay, that one's in there nice. This one's in there nice. It looks like we wiggle correct. 
Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Excellent. So now we gotta reattach our assembly joints here. So this one. Just push it on there. Well, why is this hanging That's in there? That's for this. Oh, okay. So just pop this in there. Mm -hmm. and connect the fork. Bow! I love that sound. That was a nice snap. This one we snap in the same way. Well, almost. Let me just turn it around because I know I can see it better. Bam! Okay, check that out. <laughs> now I'm just going to reattach this top piece to here, which seems like that would be the logical choice. So that goes on there, right? And then back, then you have to start assembling it back onto yep. the... So once I'm done screwing this on here, I'm going to pop that puppy back right on top of there, and we're going to see if we can get this back together in like, you know, the next hour and a half. It's been an hour and a half almost. Getting a workout on my right hand today. Just like any other day. <laughs> it's a good thing I've got a nice, good, solid forearm. All right, almost done with this top piece here. Then we're going to be able to flip it over and put more screws in the other holes. I'm just knocking it out. I'm sorry. This is a lot more complicated than it looks, I'll tell you that much. And actually getting involved and looking at these little pieces and parts and stuff like that, you realize how intricately well built and designed these things are and how awesome that, that it is to have some knowledge on how to fix this when you break them because it happens every single time. I have way respect now when I go, oh, sorry I broke your truck. One thing that I've learned for sure, besides all of the other stuff that I've learned for sure, is that when you're doing this, you actually gain some patience. All right. By the way, no instruction manuals were used during the making of this video. None. Just the pure knowledge of two professional fun guys. Okay. Is that right, these small ones? Yeah. Okay. That's how I keep track, is I just know that they go in sets, so like, they're usually even, so there'll be two of this, or three of that, or four of that, which doesn't make sense, but that's how I usually tell. Well, we all have our methodology. And there you have it, our fully reassembled front end here. Everything's turning properly as it should. Everything's put back together as it was. And uh, thankfully, I have some good tutelage from, of course, my best friend, Reed your mind. And uh, I actually am gonna leave it to the master here to do uh, the replacement of the flux motor. And of course, the flux fan red red load. The ESC. I mean the ESC. Sorry. <laughs> I was just reading. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe if you like our videos. And uh, it's been real. This is Chad Rock here, Urban RCLA, and thank God I'm finished.